In this video, I'm going to be going through how to annotate over really a web page or anything that's in Chrome, but specifically, how can we do that with a Google Slides presentation? So this is one thing that teachers have asked for, and we've looked at trying to find the best solution for this, and I think we found it. So essentially, what, what I have here is a Google Slides presentation. Let's say that I'm going to do this with a group of students, and I want to be able to annotate on top of it. Uh, it's a pretty powerful thing to annotate and be able to write on it real time because then I can work problems out, I can highlight things, stuff like that. So the first thing that I want to mention, this is done through the use of an extension. So whenever I look at this, this annotate web annotations with screen sharing, that's the extension. I'm going to put that in the uh, tech support article right below this video so you can look for that link and you can add it from there. Um, the next thing is I want to look at our Google Slides presentation. And I don't want it just in this view. I need it in presentation view, but I also need to have access to my extensions up here. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to File, and then I'm going to Publish to the Web. And by doing this, I've already published this, it gives me this... Uh, presentation link and it doesn't really matter the audio advance or anything because you're not going to play your slideshow you just need it to load so I'm just going to open this presentation up and you'll see that it opens similar to presentation view except now I have full access to my extensions and everything and that's going to be important because for this it will allow me to annotate on top of this I'm going to go to my extension to enable this feature, and once it's active, it's right here, this annotation extension. And when I open it up, I just need to make sure to turn annotations on. Now, the first time you use this, it'll ask you to sign in, and you can only be signed in on one browser at a time. So if you're using it on your Chromebox or a laptop, you can't also be using it on your uh, Chromebook so it, it really only works with one browser at a time but really that's all you need if you're annotating in one place and it gives you kind of these full feature annotation tools so if I want to go through here and highlight or mark it allows me to go through here I can hide the annotations if I need to I can bring them back up and if I need to just clear them all out I can just clear annotations like that so this tool works better than some of the others that I found because Web Paint and a few others allow annotation. But with this, I have this pointer arrow that also allows me to advance the slides, which is really important because most of them, I have to close out the extension before I can move on. It's like it takes a screen capture of that region and I can't control anything else. Uh, so this tool allows for full annotation. You know, I want to get rid of this toolbar, I can just click that X, but I also have full feature access to move this toolbar wherever I need to. So that essentially is how you can annotate on top of a Google Slides presentation or really anywhere on the web. You know, I can go back over here and start annotating. Now, some websites, if you notice the toolbar goes away, it'll even tell you that it won't work. So like my annotations are on, it won't allow me to annotate on the Chrome Web Store. Similar to if I go over here to Google Drive, you'll see now I can annotate on top of Google Drive. You know, it it's really going to depend on the website. Some websites just do not allow for annotation, and some do. So make sure to check that out ahead of time. But for the most part, this should fill that need to be able to annotate on top of a Google Slides presentation.